Have you seen the price of console games recently? 40 or 50 pounds. And you might not even like the thing once you've bought it. Wouldn't it be great if you could try before you buy? Or, even better, never ever buy in the first place? Well, a new raft of services could well mean that you don't have to pay the big bucks to play the big titles. From one of the world's gaming meccas, Dan Simmons reports from LA. Now, we all like to travel light when we go abroad, but that can come with some disadvantages. I, for example, like to play top-end console games, but I have to say I haven't brought my PS3 or Xbox with me. But soon, that might not matter. For that kind of flexibility, you need to be able to play anywhere. Uh, OK, maybe not in the sea. And this may be the answer. It's a standard laptop running an Xbox 360 game. Launching later this year, Gaikai offers console gaming straight to laptops without the need for the associated hardware. And that's because the game is actually running on powerful servers. Your netbook just needs to send your moves and receive a video feed. No consoles, no game discs or downloads needed. The game is wherever you are if you're online. We already have online gaming for simple games, but this promises high-end action to low-end laptops, opening the doors to many more players. If you look at a game like um, Farmville on Facebook, it has over 80 million players, or did have over 80 million players, which is rocking. It shows that it can be done. When you open those doors wide, you make it incredibly accessible, you allow friends to share. We can do that with any game now, and we can put any game inside Facebook just as easy as Farmville. That's in principle. For now, Gaikai's offering is a little more basic. Go to a site like Amazon or IGN, and if your connection speed is fast enough, this happens. Not an ad, but an invitation to play a console or high-end PC game streamed straight from the internet onto a basic laptop. In the coming weeks, those who sign up in the US, UK and France will be testing a trial version, with the service going public later this year. Initially, just the first few levels of a game will be offered, a sort of try before you buy. <laughs> 